Paperboy News here to deliver y'all that daily report. Now after Adam 22 fired Pete Nice from No Jumper, he knew that Adam 22 is all about content. So he knew in order to get his job back, he would have to address that Brick Baby situation. Now according to Pete Nice, when he seen Brick Baby, he hemmed him up and told them what did he say about his hood. In which Brick Baby responded back saying, Nah, big bro, nah, big bro. And Pete Nice said he knows that Brick Baby always has the blower on him so he disarmed him in which dw flames confirmed it and then tried to double back saying nah i don't know now p nice said even though he had that little mix up with brick baby he done got no ill will towards him and he said any issues that they have keep it off camera but that's the same issue that brick baby has with everybody every time he has an issue with someone he always runs to the internet and put it on social media and p nice said even after that leaked conversation that brick baby had where he was dissing their set when people People ask them questions about it he changed the subject because he already made an agreement with Brick Baby that they're not gonna bring it up anymore. So he said he was sick and tired of seeing Brick Baby on social media acting like he was tough, saying that after he said that word, this in the insane cribs, nobody pressed him about it. Now P and I said Brick Baby's delusional because something did happen, but it was off camera, and he didn't want nobody else to know about it. But since Brick Baby told the whole wide world and try to act like he was super tough, that he dissed their set and no repercussions happened he had to let it be known that he did do something but he tried to keep it off the internet but since brick baby want to talk about it let's talk about it now brick baby said let's get one thing clear nobody's ever put their hands around my throat a day in my life and he said and just the thought of p nice entertaining that that's how people get eliminated now according to brick baby p nice and dw flames already knows that when he comes to no jumper he has the blower on him so when he was getting into it with that person off camera he reached in his pockets and p nice and dw flames already knowing brick baby they know that's where he keeps his blower and brick baby said p nice knowing that he pushed brick baby's blower back down his pants in which Brick Baby came back to his senses, pulled his blower out, and handed it to DW Flames. And Brick Baby said he doesn't understand why P Nice is trying to act so tough when he showed his private parts to Adam 22. And Brick Baby said he's disappointed in DW Flames because he thought they were good friends. So he's shocked that he would make up these fabricated stories, especially when he had his homie Barry Gordy with him. And Brick Baby said, just think about what P Nice said. He pressed his knuckles against my throat and he didn't do nothing back. He he said does that even sound believable now gordy from rolling 100s who's also brick baby's homie and sometimes he pops up on no jumper addressed that issue now gordy said after dw flame said the n-word to brick baby this in the neighborhoods that led to episode 9 on the no jumper live and brick baby being his homie he figured that he would troll him that's when gordy said he told dw flames that brick baby didn't show up today because he's ducking you then he said out of nowhere brick baby rushes in and sits on adam's chair and gordy said he didn't think nothing of it because he thought him and brick was still trolling but he said after he started seeing all those tears running down brick baby's face and him storming off camera trying to catch fate with somebody that's when he knew it was real now gordy said what p knight said what happened behind the cameras that was absolutely false because he was there now gordy said he considers brick baby his little bro and he said under no circumstances would he ever let anybody put their hands around his neck especially in front of him now gordy said during brick baby's crash out he was going at it with the security from no jumper and he said people already knew brick baby was on his crash out mode so they was holding him back from doing something stupid and gordy said that's when brick's girl who's holding her baby in her hand jumped in front of brick baby to calm him down that's when gordy said p nice jumped in and grabbed brick baby basically shaking him up saying hey you tripping you got your girl and your baby right here and gordy said after brick baby calmed down they all went outside and talked it out and gordy said p nice and dw flames knows that brick baby got more clout than them so they're trying to troll his name so they can get some clout too but he said not on his watch and they ain't gonna make up no fabricated stories on his homie and he told p nice stop making up all these fabricated stories to get clout on social media and he said he's disappointed in dw flames for trying to agree with p nice trying to make it seem as though that story is true and he told p nice and dw flames that when he sees them in person he's gonna holler at them now to all the stories that were told gordy's makes the most sense but like i said at the end of the day we only viewers we didn't see what was going on behind that camera but y'all like share and subscribe to the channel 
Y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section. It's Paperboy News, Stan. Y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there.